Hi everybody, welcome to my video here on YouTube or if you're on my website. I have some fun cards I want to share with you. I'm going to share with you three simple layered cards where I've just used some layered card stock and some new designer paper from the holiday catalog to make some cards. So today I'm going to be using this stamp set which isn't holiday related. It's in our annual catalog. It's called Endless Thanks and I'm going to be using Thankful. I just needed a sentiment that was small and would work so that's going to work out perfect. And then I'm going to be using these framelits and they're from the brand new holiday catalog. I'm going to be using this one right here which is the pump now this has a coordinating set right here, a coordinating stamp set, and tomorrow you're going to be able to see a card that I created with this stamp set and the die set. I will be doing a walkthrough of the holiday catalog, and then I'll be sharing with you brand new card kits that I'm giving away for free when you place orders with me for Stampin' Up! product. So I'm just, I've just used the framelit today. So let's get started making this card. I have some items here already. Now I spent all of yesterday making card kits for my card class and then for you guys to give away um, when you place an order with me. So I had all of these random pieces of this designer paper left over. This is the Halloween designer paper and you can see that there's some foiling on here. And so because I had all of these pieces kind of left over and I had some cardstock left over, I really wanted to just create some cards with that leftover cardstock because I hate to waste it the um, oh I already scored this the designer paper and then the cardstock I hate for it to go to waste so I'm starting with a whisper white thick piece of cardstock so I use this thick piece of cardstock because it gives me a nice sturdy card base and then the inside of the card is white so it's easier to um, write in so the next two layers that I have, I have this piece right here, which this is Elegant Eggplant. And then this piece is Basic Black, okay? So let's then layer our designer paper together. This is one of the little pieces that it was left. And I wanna layer this onto my black piece. So the reason I decided to do two layers is because this piece was a little bit smaller and so I didn't think it looked all that great with just right on that purple cardstock. So that's why we're gonna layer this piece onto some black cardstock. And I know that's a little bit hard to see because my mat's black, but you'll be able to see it in one second. It'll eventually go on here like this, and then it's gonna go on our card base. But we need to do a few more things. So the first thing I grabbed was some of this Baker's Twine. I accidentally ordered like seven of these dark, uh, the basic black Baker's Twine, the solid. I don't know what I was thinking. It's like every single time I placed an order, I ordered like two of them. Like I kept thinking I needed them and I didn't really need all that much. So now it's okay because it's a basic item and I can just go ahead and use it, but um, I have a lot of it. So I'm going to wrap this around a few times and then we're going to tie a bow. Now I always like to bring my baker's twine under the other twine that I wrap around and then I can just tie a bow. I don't have to tie a knot. And when I don't tie that knot and I just tie that bow, it allows that bow to sit a little bit flatter. Just like that. Okay, so now we can go ahead and attach this piece, uh, the two colored piece. our card pieces together. And then I have this piece of orange paper. This is pumpkin pie. And again, it was just a random piece left over from the card kits that I cut. I just grabbed a border punch. You could use any border punch you want. I know I have several of these kind of laying around. I haven't used them in quite a while. And then we can layer this piece together. And I'm just going to slide this right under that bow. And it's not going all the way to the edge. I'm leaving a little bit of the black showing. 
and we can press that down. And then we just need a piece of Whisper White and you can use regular Whisper White for this uh, because you're just going to stamp on it so it doesn't need to be the thick base. I use that thick base uh, whenever I just want it for the base of a card. I'm gonna cut this at a half an inch by three inches and then we're going to use Perfect Plum ink and we're gonna use that Thankful. You could use basic black to stamp with. You could use the Elegant Eggplant if you wanted. I stamped over to the edge here, and then that's just so that I can go ahead and create a flag, just like that. Then I cut out the pumpkins in some black glimmer paper. Now in this year's catalog, we have pumpkin pie glimmer paper, which would work too, but I hoarded a bunch of this black glimmer paper from last year's catalog. I just love our glimmer paper. I love the way it cuts in my big shot and I love that glitter doesn't get everywhere. It's a great um, piece of um, paper to accent your cards. So I'm just gonna stick this right on here like that and that is gonna be our simple layered card. So I have a few other cards that I did when I was playing around with these um, different layers. There was this one and that's just on basic black and then it has a Wisteria Wonder. So it's a lighter purple um, layered on there. And the thing I did not like about this one is the seams showing. I don't know you guys, I just struggle I just feel like it's unfinished, like there should be something more there. But I love these little pumpkins. So then the other card I did was this right here where I layered one of these little tiny orange pieces that I had left. I layered that on some basic black and then I used the opposite side of this designer paper. So this designer paper is really fun. Here's that pumpkin, I have all these strips and then the polka dot and the stripes. So I would love to know which one you liked the most out of the three that I have here. Over on my website, you're gonna see photos of these. You can pin them to Pinterest. You can get to that by clicking right up here or down in the YouTube description. Leave me a comment here on YouTube or on my website. Let me know which one you liked best. These are going to be thank you cards that go out to customers for orders. And then make sure you come by tomorrow to see the tour of the holiday catalog along with all of the cards that I created for my class and the free kits I'll be giving away this month. Um, we'll be next month. It'll be September. So thank you guys so much and I hope you have a wonderful day. Don't forget that I have my paper share, holiday catalog paper share. And if you are interested in that, I'll stick a card right up here. You can check that out and make sure you get me an email right away because I'll be placing the order for all of the paper September 1st, which will be tomorrow. Have a great day, you guys. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me to the very end of my video. I have two other videos here for you guys to check out. The first one is the August Paper Pumpkin video. I did that last week. And the second video is my Project Life Plastic Page Organization. So you can check that out. Thanks so much, guys. And I'll be back tomorrow with a new holiday catalog.